Well, hey, Zero Eleven here, and today we got an upper deck mystery box. Um, so I had to get another one of these, um, mainly because you guys, some of you guys, have personally told me you actually managed to get some of these freaking packs. So I was like, screw it, why not try another one of these freaking hostile MJ holding repacks? Well, yeah, this costed forty four ninety eight. Um, again. You get seven upper deck packs and one hobby pack. Upper deck hobby pack. You get one rookie card and a mystery card. Mystery card includes autos, relics, and basically freaking top rookies that are basically worthless. But yeah, um, trying my luck again. Typically, the hobby packs you get are like uh, Team Canada, CHL, or uh, Leaf Centennial. If I were to pick any of the three, I'd probably go for CHL. But yeah, um, kind of felt the box. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, not gonna lie. This pretty freaking dinged up here. I don't know what the heck happened. Hopefully uh, the cards are fine even though I'm shaking around the store and I'm shaking around right now. So yeah. Um yeah, let's try out the mystery box again. Hopefully it doesn't suck, but guess what? It's gonna freaking suck. So yeah. Open it up. I mean, eight packs. I mean, you can average out to like under or under six bucks a pack, like five bucks a pack, or you say it's five bucks a pack and then five dollars for two mystery cards. But yeah, let's get this open. All right, uh, let's get the mystery cards. Hopefully it's a dry so if you watch like the side there, that'd be nice. Um, all right. Oh my gosh. All right, here's your two freaking mystery cards. You got top rookies, 1617 uh, William Nylander, and a top rookie, 1718 of Pierre-Luc Dubois. So there you go. They're always freaking top rookies. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the packs. Hopefully, um, there's never any like solid pack in between packs, like, you don't see any like trilogy or ice or anything like that. You just see uh, like crappier hobby packs. But yeah, or even SB Authentic. You'll never see SB Authentic. Oh wait, there we go. Okay, get all everything's out of the freaking box. So yeah, here's the packs. We got uh four there, and we got five. Oh, we got nine packs. Uh, we got Parker, 1617. Um, I do like 1617 Parkers. It has a beeping thing, so maybe that's a good sign. Um, 1718 Series 1 for looking for um, Hosang and Debrinkin. Pretty much for me there. Um, another one of those. 1617, another chance that you know who. Um, 1617, again. Um, 1516 Series 2. Oh, cool. We got, uh, no, 1516 Series 1, so another chance that you know who. And nice. Uh, we got 1718 CHL, so I guess we'll be uh, looking for uh, Lexi Lafreniere, uh, top rookie in here, or maybe his autograph. But yeah, and we got 2016 uh, Canada, Canada Juniors. So yeah, two hobby packs. That's better than last time. Got some quality packs here. I mean, we got uh, McDavid hunting, we got Matthews hunting. So we'll start off with Parkhurst, and then we'll go for 1718, and then, yeah, then 1516, and then we'll do McDavid. And we'll do Matthews Hunt uh, before the Hobby Packs. So yeah, let's get on with the 1617 uh, Parkhurst. I used to really like the Rookie Parades. Kind of sad when they uh, switched them out. Um, but yeah. I forget what they're called now. <laughs> but yeah. Hopefully we get a Rookie Parade in here. That'd be nice, even though I've never pulled one from this loose pack. There's a beeping thing. Did not shoplift these. I don't know why I have to keep on saying that. <laughs> Um, all right, Nicholas Cromwell, these cards are sticking, even though it's only a two-year-old product. Came out in, like, December of 16. Uh, you got Sam Bennett, Ben Bishop, uh, Mike Smith, uh, Cal Granlund, you got Kyle Palmieri Red, Chris Letang, should be getting a couple of rookies in the back here. Marcus Kruger, you got Matt Barzell, um, in the back rookie. Whoever it is, his corner's messed up. You got Matt Barzell, first rookie, and you got Joel Erickson Eck. The messed up corners. That card's pretty much worthless. But yeah, Barzell's in fine shape. So yeah, there is the Parkers. Now on to um 1718, series one. So I guess Besser and uh, Nico are in here as well. So yeah, so let's try to get a young guns. Alright, you got Thomas Grice, Jason Spezza, uh you got Roberto Luongo, and you got Nikolai Ehlers. Freaking shining stars. That's old shooting star. Uh yeah. Sergey Bobrovsky, Eric Stahl, Tori Krug, Nick Schmaltz. The only reason why I'd go back to um, 1718 would be to get a... I don't own a Hosang Young Guns. Uh, I kind of want one. 
But uh, yeah, it's pretty much the only reason why I'd ever get more 1718 product would be Josh Hosang and Alex Debrinkit, pretty much, and Alex Ndelkovic. But yeah, Ian Cole, Jeff Petrie, got Young Guns, Jack Eichel, Ivan Barbashev, Young Guns, uh, yeah, I mean, Stanley Cup champion, had a good, uh, played a good role, physical uh, player, uh, bottom six guy for the Blues, so yeah, Ivan Barbashev, Young Guns, that's not too bad. Um, Justin Braun, Derek Forbort, Valtteri Filippola, and Jason Garrison. All right, now on to um, Eichel, 15-16 Upper Deck Series 2. Eichel and uh, McDavid Canvas. Yeah, looks like we got an OPG card. Um, you got Marco Dano, you got Miko Koivu, got Craig Anderson, you got Connor Brickley, uh, Marquee Rookie. So update Marquee Rookie. Got Vlad Tarasenko, Victor Stahlberg, uh, Nathan McKinnon, and Nick Benino. All right, um, McDavid time. We got two hobby packs, which is cool. And we got two 16, 17 packs. But yeah, let's uh, try again at McDavid, even though I've, I've literally given up. I it's, it's just not happening. Chris Kreider, Mike Camilleri, and got a canvas, Mike Smith. Canvas, Mike Smith. What a nice picture. Matt Reed, Duncan Keith, Jordan Eberle, and Semyon Varlamov. All right, Matthews, another... <laughs> I legitimately have never pulled a Matthews Young Gun. I have pulled McDavid. Not on camera, but I've pulled McDavid. Um, never pulled Matthews, but yeah. I guess this is another shot. Um, you got Roberto Luongo, Shane Doan. Uh, you got Jimmy Hayes, Wayne Simmons, Cal Turris, Mike Green, Tyler Toffoli, Johnny Oduya. So there's a base pack. All right, at least we get another one here. So yeah, nine packs instead of eight. It's nice. So yeah, let's see what we get here. Let's see if we get a Young Guns. Um, we got Calvin DeHaan, Jake Allen, Matt Zuccarello, Tyler Bozak, Dustin Bufflin, Alex Edler, Andre Pavlik, and Alex Barkoff. So nothing doing there in the 16-17, uh, but um, got some hobby packs. Um, I kind of I'm looking forward to see opening CHL more. So let's do uh, Canada Juniors uh, 2016. So this came out. Probably just before the 16 17 se season, so I'm assuming there's Mitch Marner stuff in there. Probably Matt Barzell stuff in there. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's check it out. You got Roland McEwen. I think he's still in the Canes organization. You got Samuel Montembo. He's a, yeah, the rookies in 18 uh, 19 with the Florida Panthers. Samuel Montembo. Just bought his future watch. And we got. Uh, John Quenville, um, some sort of retro card, I'm assuming. It shows him on the juniors there in 2016. John Quenville, there you go. Uh, Rebecca Johnson, and uh, John Quenville. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of that uh, Canada stuff, not gonna lie. All right, CHL, looking for a CHL. There should be some uh, solid graduates in here, probably um, some players that are already in the NHL, so yeah. Um, forget what's the configuration here. I think it's like 18 packs or 16 packs or something. So autos are fairly decent chance. You got Ryan McLeod, uh, Oilers prospect, Oilers second rounder. Um, I was quite impressed when I saw him uh, with the Steelheads. Um, explosive speed. He looked dynamic out there. So yeah, you got Ivan Lodnia. Ivan Lodnia and the Otters there. I think he moved. Yeah, he later moved. Uh, you got Jordan Sandbrook. You got Antoine Morant, you got Morgan Geeky, Braden Gorda, Peyton Krebs. There's a solid rookie. Right there. Oh, frick yeah! Look at that. Uh, you got Peyton Krebs, Vegas Golden Knights first rounder. Peyton Krebs, seventeenth uh, overall. So yeah, that's solid. Peyton Krebs, nice. So rookies, and we got an autograph of a solid another Vegas Golden Knight, Nicholas Hag. With the frickin' Mississauga Steelheads. Nicholas Hag. So yeah, very cool. Got some Golden Knights here. Nice. Some solid prospects right there. Very cool. That's This has been solid. You got Ty Feliber. He's interesting as well. Um, he was like a gulper game in the OHL. I saw him. He casually got a hat trick when I saw him. He was an overager um, this past year, 18-19. The Dallas Stars picked him up. So we'll see. Actually... Uh, Jason Robertson is another Dallas Stars prospect from the OHL. So there you go. Feliber and uh, Robertson are both going to be a...
potentially, well, Robertson is probably going to be on the Stars next year. Felber is going to be in the AHL, but he looked real solid. Um, you got Alan McShane, Jordan Ernst, and Matt Bradley. So, yeah, guys, actually not sucked. That was actually pretty darn good. Um, mystery box solid, really solid. We got we got an auto of a solid prospect. And Nick Hague auto. So that's pretty good. All in all solid. I was actually quite pleased with the two hobby packs. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.